Hello everybody, my name is shortlink 19 and welcome back to... I forgot my own things. Welcome back to Railroader. Welcome back. Hell yeah. We're going to be playing some Railroader today. I'm joined by Ryan, uh, who will not be joining Hi. me in Railroader, but he will be joining me in the voice call. I'm the only yeah. one doing JMPD stuff today, so let's see how long I can actually go ahead and do this before I get bored of it. So. Well, I, I was going to say I would join you, but I... I, I am, I, you know, for lack of a better term, I am a pussy. Uh, though I don't like pussy. Um, Download mods, awful. Ryan. It's not that hard. Okay. Right. Counterpoint. I'm scared. Overcome your fears. Later. Stop um, procrastinating. Okay, well. Hey, 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 hey. Who said I'm procrastinating? I am simply preserving the longevity of my game i don't know i'm uh, okay well in this case if you want a bubble slap that bass slap away your trouble learn to zoom 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 slap that bass do 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 well in this case i am going to be up Oh no, it's just the two. Just the two of us, real. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Yeah, yeah. So... Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I, I forget no that I, I recently reconfigured my, my settings for the, the... The... The stationary. So, I need to frickin'... I need to frickin' press the right buttons, otherwise I will be... I will overlap myself five times over. That like is that. no good. So, oh my clones anyways on onto onto the world onto the world i gotta turn around the passenger train um well i i turn around the passenger train then michael okay Give it a whirl. i i figured out how to do this so let's go ahead and just we'll take 131 use the f keys f keys no uh I don't think F does anything. Well, in this case, we gotta go and a train break. Train break needs to be off. Independent break needs to be off. I'm still not used to the new UI, so. Yeah, the new UI I find is a little distracting. Uh, I don't know why I am not moving. Here we go. Oh, shit, that's right. I was given a script. To there look we over. go. You were given a script. Yes. What kind of script? Uh. A script for a documentary that I am the narrator of. So hell yeah. Oh, what is it about? Uh, it's it's something for one of the uh, Port Ogden guys. So. Ah, nice, nice. Very nice indeed. Um. But I, speaking of documentaries, stay tuned. I don't, I, again, I, 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 I try to have plans. I try to have plans. Sit As down and make character. a, sit down and make like a two minute short. That's what I keep telling you to do. Yeah, I, I do. But alas, so tell us, Michael, what's your thoughts? Thoughts on what? Th thoughts, how is, tell us your thought, how is Bear? Tell us your thoughts on how on how how our our good friend Bear is doing. Our our good friend Bear is doing rather well. Um, he is big and fat and doesn't like to go on walks. But we found a route that, for whatever reason, when we go take that route, instead of just absolutely refusing to walk, he runs on it. You know, as much as Bear can actually run. And uh, so yeah, he's hopefully gonna lose weight by exercising and being Bear and all that wheat stuff oh we love to hear that uh, bear national mascot um, bear national mascot and wanted criminal but you know wanted we criminal don't... how so uh tax evasion and election fraud i see you have to understand he's wanted in about 12 different states excluding hawaii which which states would bear be wanted in because he's he's a native of south carolina 
okay, so... he's, a native, he's a native of South Carolina, but the thing is, is that he's committed, he's committed acts of aggression on all of the flyover states. So he's currently so wanted like North in Dakota or something. North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Oklahoma, uh, Nebraska, Missouri, Mississippi. He's like he's wanted in in those kinds of states. Um, he has two charges of uh he, he has two charges of manslaughter in a uh, in the state of Oregon alone. Uh well don't go to Oregon. <laughs> well exactly especially one boring Oregon for reasons. For, for reason well what if he wants to go see Milky? I don't know. <laughs> okay, right. Well, right, but Milky's not in boring to my understanding. True, true. Oh, what else? What the thing else? Is, the thing is is that he uh he committed uh, attempted manslaughter against uh, one he of Mr. Mike. He Michael's shot a man own. in Reno just to watch him die. <laughs> this is true. He so did. That sounds like, yeah, exactly. He did. Um, um, I was going to say, speaking of South Dakota and kind of speaking of Reno. Well, speaking of South Dakota first, there was a, I didn't read the whole thing. I sort of skimmed through it. But there was a Railway Age article basically arguing that um, Amtrak, as a part of their national plans, has dropped any potential for service to and from South Dakota, and it was basically someone in South Dakota saying, hey, there's actually a lot of travel demand here that could be well accommodated by train, and Amtrak is making a mistake by dropping us from any prospective national network. So. Yeah, I was going to say, like, for a nationalized network, leaving off one of your contiguous United States is probably not the greatest idea. Yeah. But uh, I, I haven't read through the whole thing, but it, it seemed quite interesting, so. I mean, it, I mean, it is. I mean, it. you wouldn't think North Dakota to be one of those states, but, you know. Or South Dakota. Yeah. Whoopsie, my apologies. It's um, fine. South Dakota is truly one of the states. Apparently, it's very pretty there, so. Yeah. Uh, I pressed the wrong button as a result. I glitched into myself. Okay. Uh. There we go. You know what? Maybe next to the train yard, we should have... Yeah, next to the yard, we're going to have some more gardens that people can dangerously cross the tracks to go view. Hell yeah. I turned 16 today. Yippee. Well, happy birthday, Alexis. So... Happy, happy birthday. A cat had a birthday and all the cats came to play cat gates and cakes and play cat games. Eat cat cakes? Eat cat cake, yeah. You know, cat cake. Don't you know it's the latest craze? What's cat cake made out of? Cake cat, uh, cat, cake cat cake. Uh, cat cake is made, cat cake is actually made out of C4. <laughs> uh, made out of nitroglycerin. Yeah, you, you, you want to know Dinitrogen why, tetroxide. Precisely. It's made, it's, it's made out of, it's made out of a lot of great stuff. Um, trust me, real, real, you know. Real, real charming fuel, so. Exactly. Precise. It's also, you know, yellow cake uranium. Um, what, leftover nuclear waste. I need um, to, I, I want to play Fallout New Vegas so badly. I just don't have the time. You, you don't have the what? I don't have time. I, w I was That's thinking about cool. this earlier today. Actually, I think it was on a voice call with you. Where, uh, you know, COVID, and don't take this, you know, out of context, but COVID was uh hold up uh hold up oh fuck no no wrong way shit shit covid me during covid it was kind of to a degree a bit wonderful because i got to sit home and just read books and magazines and forum posts and stb documents and play games and shit like that and you had all the time in the world even going into senior year, which was fairly, fairly, senior year is fairly easy for me. But the moment I actually started going off to, you know, college and working and doing all that stuff, all of my free time just decided to cease to exist. And I have to be very, like, specialized on what I, what I want to do. So. Uh, so that's, that's something that I've, adulthood and free time kind of sucks, I will say that. So. And growing up is no fun. 
I do think that there is a certain, you know, people always say, oh, there's certain magic to being a kid and whatnot. I, I would say that there's a certain magic to being an adult as well. It's a different kind of magic. And it's less, you know, I don't want to say abstract, but it's less, like, tangible. Yeah. I think a lot of childhood magic, honestly, is stuff that we look upon it in retrospect, so. Right. The ability to make your own decisions, to be your own person, stuff like that. There's a certain kind of magic to that, so. That's true. All right. Come on. Is Bear still there? Is he still banned from my, my room? Bear is upstairs sleeping, so. All right. Clunk. Uh. So yeah, 20, 20, well, Jack is out seeing 2816, and it's, uh, went through Shreveport today, and it's gonna, apparently, the next excursion for it's on the Iowa Interstate, so. Uh, that is awesome to hear. Yes, return, return to Steam on the, on the Iowa Interstate. Uh, they should be running their QJs, but I digress. Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna give my Dr. Pepper a little bit more time to, dare I say, chill out. Be more chill. Exactly. Um, we cannot escape it. The horrors. Um, the, the horrors of the book that I refuse to read. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Uh. But, what is it? Ultimately, I will say that, Michael, I think you're absolutely right, that I think the magic of being an adult is that you kind of, you're calling your own shots and you're homing your own ship. But I think the magic of a kid is that the true gravity of the world and the fact is, is that people... It hasn't... It hasn't, you know, you haven't realized it yet. Well, I, I think it's also the fact is, is that, you know, like, I, I know people say this often as a joke, but, like, ask me what my favorite dinosaur is. Like, let's have some interesting conversations, please. I don't want to talk about politics. I want to talk about dinosaurs. I'm fine with talking about politics within certain circumstances, but if it floods everything, then it just gets kind of, uh... I, again, like I want people. People need more. Um, again, I feel like dinosaurs. They, I feel like there's a spectrum where, and you know, I don't. I certainly have my opinions and whatnot, but I don't really talk politics on my stream. Um, but I, I think people. Oh, over the last few years, and um. It has become increasingly and fashionable to inject politics into everything, especially escapism. Where the point of escapism, in my mind, is to get away from the real world troubles, which include, you know, political things. Now, this isn't to say that you should go all in on escapism and ignore politics. That is remarkably dangerous. You should be aware of what's going on in the world and have your own opinions on it and, and be active in in the general political sphere but people should also have that's very important to do but i think what is equally important or is that people have their own space to kind of go and retreat away from those problems when when necessary because it can be mentally taxing at times and people need a break from that so i also generally think that um or Ryan, do you have any thoughts before I say anything else, or? Uh, continue, continue. I, I also generally think that, um, I know I'm sort of breaking my own rules here, but it's my stream. Uh, in a, in a world which, you know, is very polarized nowadays, the fact that there can be spaces where there is sort of non-political escapism can in fact bring people of very different political beliefs together when if those spaces were politicized they would not have that opportunity like i have i have friends honestly one of my i'm not scared of a lot of things like genuinely scared i mean it's one thing to be say say oh you're scared of a meteoroid hitting your house but like you know obviously if that were happen you'd probably be scared but you know, it's not something rational to be scared about but one of the few things that I am genuinely afraid about is that I have friends who lie all across the political spectrum. And I am not friends with them because of politics. I don't think that you should base your friendships in large part on 
uh, well, what, what people are and um, what their politics are. But my, my big fear is that if I did sort of start talking and, and try and politicize, you know, my content, even if, you know, talk about that sort of stuff, it would result in a scenario where I would, because uh, I will admit my belief work is very patchwork, uh, my beliefs are very sort of a patchwork belief, a whole bunch of things, where if I basically started doing that, I would piss off all of my friends very quickly and they would go away. That's one of my few genuine fears, and it's part of the reason why I typically avoid talking about politics directly on the stream. So, I, I will I will say that, all that, that being said, I know I am talking about it now, but just to sort of lay it down and get that out of the way, so. Yeah, I think that I think that's a good policy. Right. Um, I think that's very, I think that's, I think that's very wise of you, Michael. Also, um, there, I, I, I think you've got you, you extra you exercise a lot more thought into the topic than I think a lot of people that I know, and I applaud you on that. Yeah, I'm not uh, just gonna I'm not just gonna in typical conversation. I typically try and avoid bringing up politics. I'm just on a whim because I typically only like to do that after I get to know the person to kind of feel them out. And there's some people, a lot of people, I just straight up don't do it with because honestly, I. I'm not friends with them because of that or you know they don't want to you you don't know if you know if you bring up politics you don't know if someone else wants to talk about it either in my view both people both parties have to be comfortable talking about it in order for it to actually be have any sort of be a productful conversation so okay orders road reverse and all right so the local is the passenger train is now on its way with 131. Now let me get in 2709. I don't know why uh why Logan is here. Because Jack took him up here, but uh let me let me switch to him. Select follow. Uh Corn flowers. The hell is a corn flower? I don't know. <laughs> guns, guns flower shop. What the hell is this? Guns flower shop. That's a remarkable name. Okay. I might have to put this down somewhere. This this asset is remarkable. Or you put the Kovacs bar down somewhere? Uh, on this route, I I don't know if I have, but I might have to make space for it. All right. Actually, I know the perfect place to put. I mean. I I know the perfect place to put the Kovacs bar. Okay. And, uh... and in fact, I think I will put the Kovacs bar somewhere. Select follow. All right, we're gonna get in Murphy. We're gonna get in two o seven. Um, we're gonna get in six thirty. So, and we are gonna go collect the log train because Brandon didn't do that last time. So. Oh, womp womp. Womp womp. Yeah, womp womp indeed. Oh, why are you coupled up to Daniel? Okay, there we go. Alex just chilling over there, so. How, how is the 440? Um, I did some switching with the 440 last, uh, last time, and it was actually rather fun, so. That's good. That thing gets up and goes quick. To be fair, I was only handling, at most, like, four cars, so. Wasn't too big of a deal, but. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, 52, and that's the one I want. Okay, very good. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm leaking air. Close that angle cock. I have enough coal and water, so I should be... I should be good. So. Would you be up for some eye portaling soon, TM? Uh, I'm not really in the mood to eye portal, to be honest. Well, well soon, soon as in like a week. Uh, maybe. I I have to I have to see how my schedule works out. I already know that this the next uh, I um the stream that I scheduled for Sunday or Saturday. I'm not going to be able to do it because apparently I'm going to a barbecue. I did not know this, so I might change that stream to Friday. Um. 
I, I am typically not told things. Uh, the, the problem with planning out a schedule for a week in advance is oftentimes you're not told things or things pop up that you need to go to um, after you plan out that schedule. So, yeah. Very true. Oh, water. My beloved. Hydrate. Uh, definitely. Definitely hydrate. Definitely hydrate. Definitely hydrate indeed. So. What is it? I am sorry. I need to be a little bit more conversational. I just... No, nah, that's fine. I mean, actually, I wonder. Actually, you know what? Should we try something? Try what? Are we in the mood for trying something, team? What, you know what, are, what? what are we trying? What if I clean my room while being on stream with y'all? Uh, sure. Fuck it. You know what, Michael? We're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, you know what? I can get a life, and my life is outside of training. Clean your I, room. This is going to be great. Uh, this is going to be great. Okay. Yeah, because I can clean yeah. my room. And then I can continue to, to catalog my HO scale fleet. And then I can get one step closer to getting, uh, uh, to winning at life. Um, yeah. I was, I was going through some of my, my O scale stuff today, determining what I want to sell. Because I, I used to do oh, O scale yeah. for the longest time, mostly when I was a kid, but I don't really run it that much anymore. And I'm far more invested in HO scale now than I am in O scale. So I still want to keep some of it. Um, but a lot of it I want to get rid of, and I was trying to figure out today, okay, what do I, what do I keep? What do I ditch? 207 has not been up this branch line before, so... Oh well, oh well. Uh. Okay, 25 miles an hour. Still have $17,500, so... Uh, up oh, Ryan has has left. He has left the call. It is just me for today then. Um. So yeah, uh, Brandon left these log cars up at the up at the mill because he had to leave last time. So I my plan is I'm gonna go collect up the log cars, and by that point the pasture train will be will be well on its way back, right? Uh, by the time I finish this job. And that gives it space so I can run the uh, the remaining local because I have, I'm up at Alarca and I need to go pick up some cars at, um... I'm at Alarca and I need to go pick up cars at uh, Bryson to bring back to the interchange, so. I really do like the new chuffing sounds that they added. They're really, really cool. Anything happened recently? Um, aside from uh, 2816. Uh, let's see, let's see. In the realm of railroading. 113 is running again. Coal exports are resuming through Baltimore. Um, the Borealis is now, is now running, so that's neat. Well, another pasture train, another pasture train. Uh, I mean, news on the rail front's been kind of slow recently, so. Um, I did send out an email to Bill Stevens, who's Trains Magazine's chief correspondent. Oh yeah, Trains Magazine was sold, along with uh, Model Railroad and all those magazines to uh, Fire Crown Enterprises. And I did watch an interview with one of Fire Crown's main people, and it sounds like, um... 131 check the brake line stopping. Oh, what happened? Um It does sound like um a lot of uh improvements are going to be coming to to well, I guess you have to say now the former Kalmbach magazines where I was listening to to them the Fire Crown guys talking and they were basically saying you know, the problem isn't with physical print media um, the, the, in and of itself. The issue is with a lot of a lot of print media. The issue with a lot of print media is that is this switch set against you? 
the issue with a lot of media, print media, is that... Uh... Uh... <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh... Where's this fucking... Where is it? There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and redeem that, though. So. We have had an anomaly. Hello? Hi. <laughs> hey, Ryan, check the stream. <laughs> What's up? Check check the stream. Check the stream. <laughs> I'm on mobile. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh that's, oh. that's gonna be a hit to the reputation. <laughs> the elves. Yeah, the elves have struck. They've struck pretty oh, hard. The elves, of course. They've hijacked a what? train. What? I... Hey, hold on. Shit. It's uh... so bad. Oh. Uh... Hey, hold on. It, it's not playing. What happened, Michael? Ah, uh, here. Let me. Fuck. Uh, let me. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> uh, okay, okay. How do we untangle this fucking mess? <laughs> did, did, did you did you rear-end a train? Uh, I didn't even know that train was moving 100k into debt. Okay, well... Alright, alright. Um, off to an amazing start, we can see. Let's go... Okay, good. I wouldn't have it any other way. Dr. Pepper, open. This is, this is gonna be the worst derailment we've had. <laughs> what about that one with, like... Uh... Well, okay. Let me, let me go ahead and re-rail Logan. Um... Really? Only those derailed? <laughs> uh, okay. What, what condition? Logan's at 48% condition. Fuck. Okay. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay, can we back him up? Okay, can you hear me okay? I can Best hear catch. you just fine. Okay, good. Okay. My name is Ryan Loebner, and we're back in the second half. Okay. <laughs> uh, Put Putnam County? What What's the condition of Putnam County? At the 25th annual... Putnam County spelling Why, why won't it let me select Putnam County? Oh, My do I gotta be in? On telling me just being 36%. Here fuck. Uh, How did you let that happen? I don't know. I The train was parked. I, I don't know why this... I guess I didn't put on the brakes and the train... The freight train just started drifting downhill. Apparently when I rear-ended it, the, um... The rear angle cock on Putnam County decided to... Oh, wait, no. The two cars behind me aren't even coupled. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and take over operations real quick. Uh, well, gotta... Well, I can't... I don't have extra shop crews, so... We're gonna have to see. Okay, Anglecock closed. Um, independent off, train brake off. Uh. That even. Putnam County is fucking dead. Putnam County fucking died. Yeah, exactly. Um, is this even coupled? No, it's not. Okay. Reverse. Uh. What a responsible railroad owner. Hey, at least I admit it. Okay. Who's in chat, Michael? Tell, tell Just Alexis. I hope Spud or someone oh, shows yeah. up because I I want to kind of want to talk to him. But uh. Okay. So, I'm okay. going through my drawers of bullshit, and let me tell you, there is some bullshit in these drawers. I see now. Okay, coupled wow. back up. Hopefully. 
Okay, and then the angle cocks over here are not connected. Okay, so 131, road, reverse, there we go. It should be good now. And now I'm going to select Logan. His train brake is going to be on. His independence is going to be on. Reverser. Um. Okay. And, okay, 131 is back on its way. Um. Oh my gosh. Small disruption. Small disruption. Um. Suboptimal, even. Ice on the track. It's all fine and good. So. Okay. And I actually have to go to... Uh, Whittier and I need to put down a flare in front of the Whittier Depot. Is it control F? Yeah, it's control F. And 131 is back on its way. Okay, so 207. We still got to run this train. So follow, select, curse up. Alright. Uh <laughs> Uh, How old is this Easter candy? Jesus Christ. I should probably throw away this Easter candy. I don't know. It's been since Easter. A few months old. Uh. Oh, this is pathetic. All right. Log train. Log train will be okay. Okay. Let me grab the trash can. The trash can. When was the last time because, you cleaned your room? Well, that's a great question. So, technically, my room, what the, what the hell is this? When the hell did these go bad? Tootsie Pops. I don't know I had these. Okay, so to answer your question, technically, the last time I cleaned this room must have been last summer because I haven't really been here all year oh yeah makes sense makes sense do you have uh, burnt popcorn uh i have a literal box of popcorn that we can use that we can burn if we want to uh it is on the table for burning hell yeah what the hell do i do with easter eggs all right i'm returning this to the parents mom will know what to do with these with the easter eggs yeah I'm sure she has contacts with the Easter Bunny. With the Easter Beagle. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I found a brass bell. Hell yeah. Back 131. 131 is under AI. It's perfect, doing perfectly fine. Oh, I found another fucking thing I can sell. It's oh god, it, it needs it needs help. Uh. Ten dollars. Ten dollars for this piece of shit. Ten dollars. Follow. Okay, here we go. Um. What the? Why? Okay. Hold on. Peeps. Best Buy three twenty four. Oh, those must have gone bad. Those have gone bad. Oh dang it! it uh. Like okay. every, every, oh. I don't even know what we're going to do when my family goes on vacation to Greece, because I think we're just going to have to prematurely empty out the fridge so you don't come back and there's like expired grown over strawberries or something like that. Yeah, my, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like you arrive and like the fucking, the fucking pretzels that you left in there has grown their own like ecosystem. Yeah, exactly. I have found a stress toy that I am going to name Gerald. Gerald, yeah. Oh, I found hand sanitizer. Hell yeah. Blue hey. skies and sunshine. Hell yeah. We love to see that. Okay, but Easter candy, I am sorry, but I have no use for you. Actually, but I... Okay, the, the, log the, train, log the train. Synthetic, the synthetic grass, I do have a use for, because I'm sure my parents would love to use this again for next year. That's like every couple of months, my, um, my... My mom will come down into my room 
and she'll go through my stuff. She's like, you need to organize this. You need to organize it. Like, okay, okay, I'll organize it. And then she'll come down again. And she's like, you need to organize this. You need to organize this. Like, I just organized this, so. Uh. Ah. Yeah, that, 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 that does not sound very fun. Yeah, oh well. Like, okay, every it, every couple of months, my mom will show me. She'll discover something new with the washing machine, right? And she'll be like, okay, I need to reteach you how to use the washing machine, because I found something new. <laughs> Kinda, kinda sweet, but oh well. Um. Well, think about it. in a few short months, you are going to be calling your own shots for the majority of the time. With me, yeah, with me and or maybe, or excuse me, excuse me, another roommate or two. Which, um, I, so I don't like social media. Uh, I absolutely refuse to use my social media. However, in order to find a roommate at my college. I, yes, uh, Pan, I, oh, clunk, I am going to, I had to sign up for Facebook, uh, <laughs> and Mom's like, you should also get an Instagram, too, to look at, you know, people at your school you could roommate with, so, I've been doing that, um, I was telling her, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not going to, download it on my phone or anything like that i'm just gonna keep it on my computer and check it maybe once or twice a day like well the whole point of social media is you have it you on your phone and I'm like I, I don't think you understand i don't like using social media and thus i will social media kind of ruined me at a point in my life and i don't want to do that again go through that again so if i don't have to use it uh i'm not going to so uh. It's very understandable. What the hell is this? Hell is what? What the fuck is this? What Elf. the fuck is this? What the fuck is this piece of shit? It's literally. Oh, this is a. Why the hell is As a wise this? Italian philosopher named Joe Pesci once said. Blunk. Okay. On the way down, you can more or less just use the independent, troll it, and uh, you should be good. Um, this is going in my outbound pile. Stuff that is going outbound. Okay. Woo! This is so, Michael, we are so back. We are so Jack. We are not Jack, because Jack is in Shreveport. Okay, maybe I should pay a bit more attention so I don't slow down to 14 talking miles an hour. Uh. I think that's a smart idea. Might make a wreck of old 97 uh, music video again. My, my immediate, um, when you say that, my mind immediately goes to the, the Johnny Cash version live at San Quentin. You know what? I'm not one for actual, I'm not one to listen to really train songs. Like songs about trains. Songs about trains? Songs about trains, Stephen. We, I, I said San Quentin and I summoned you, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, Stephen, what do you think of Montana Rail Link's uh, transcon the... attempt? <laughs> really funny. Really fucking funny, yeah. I, I mean, it, it's actually kind of decent, but it's also like all the legal like loopholes you're, you're going to have to walk through in order to, to make that real crazy. Like, well, it was it was a condition of the UPSP merger they wanted, so. Wait, what's oh, really going on? Question, I'm a bit out of the loop. What's going on? Okay, so I... Last night I couldn't go to sleep because I was being haunted by Montana Rail Link of all fucking railroads. And... Steven, are you... Oh, by the way, Steven, are you going to join? Uh, I'm just packing my bags for Miami tomorrow, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk for a while. Alright, that's fine. So, I was uh, thinking about... Because apparently... Okay, so sometimes I will get weirdly, like, hyper-fixated on one particular railroad for maybe, like, a day. And I'll do a whole bunch of research on it, and then I'll just forget about it. So, the railroad that suddenly decided to spawn in my brain was not Montana Rail Link, it was Montana Rail Link's short-lived sister railroad, which was called I&M Rail Link, which had the former Milwaukee Road between Chicago, Kansas City, and the Twin Cities along the river line. 
with a couple of branch lines to places like Sheldon, Young Sheldon, Iowa, and, and Rockford, Illinois, and stuff like that. And this railroad lasted like five years. So from 1997, when Canadian Pacific sold it, to 2002, when the Dakota, Minnesota, and Eastern bought it. It was, it was Montana Rail Link's sister railroad, same scheme, same everything. And this rare decided to just suddenly pop into my brain. And that reminded me that I know during the UPSP merger, there was a lot of concern about competition on the uh, on the central corridor, the, the, the central part of the country between California and Chicago, between the Overland Route and Southern Pacific Central Corridor Route. And this led me to the UPSP merger document, which you can just find on, on UP's website. And it basically listed that Montana Rail Link wanted to acquire, basically become, piece together uh, a whole bunch of uh, ex-Southern Pacific, uh, Rio Grande and Western Pacific and Mopac trackage with INM Rail Link and form a really weird transcon from Chicago to, to California. Uh that does i mean look i'm not like i am not nearly as knowledgeable about all of this as y'all but even i think that sounds incredibly bizarre well okay so they wanted the former western pacific the the former western pacific with the exception of the inside gateway from Keddie to bieber which would go to bnsf they wanted the former rio uh the former rio grande um the former modoc line of the southern pacific up to kalamath falls they wanted the former Missouri Pacific between Pueblo and Harrington with trackage rights to Kansas City, which would link up with INM Rail Link in order to get to Chicago. They wanted Union Pacific's uh, line from Silverbow, Montana, which connected to MRL, to Pocatello, Idaho, and then trackage rights south to Salt Lake City. And which isn't, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's also just bizarre in a lot of ways. So, I kind of want to map it now. Really but, the part. Yeah, but that's been that's been living sort of rent free, rent free in my head. So, uh, yeah, definitely sounds a bit scary. Not gonna lie, it's just it's more bizarre than anything else. This also led me down another rabbit hole where. Um, uh, yeah, so I did a bunch of research on INM Rail Link, and uh, during the the startup period of that railroad in 1997, for they were completely unprepared, and as a result, operations were a complete mess for like the first year. On the on the second day of operations, they had about double as many cars on the railroad as they thought they would, and they were short of power and crews and everything, and it took a while to sort itself out. And I guess one of the reasons why they ultimately sold it to the Dakota, Minnesota, and Eastern was um, because they spent a year basically debugging their system. Uh, their business plan was just thrown into chaos. And they had a singular FP45, by the way. So a lot of SD45s. So. God, God bless SD45s. Cow unit based. Cow unit based, yeah. Come on. Why am I? Did you know that the Denver, what is it? The oh. Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad has a free museum. Rat Gymnastics circa 1976. Huh? That's getting, Steven, is Steven mm. still here? Steven, no, check I'm not here. Instagram not here. Now. He's dead. Check Instagram now. Check Instagram. Oh yeah, I have I have an Instagram now, technically. <laughs> what is that? What is Rat that? Gymnastics, come on. Gymnastics. <laughs> gymnastics at the tourist railroad? Well no, what needs to happen is is Bort needs to have like a gymnast a gym studio. Fer- not only does he need to have the ferocious muncher for one year. The ferocious but- muncher. Yeah, the ferocious muncher is capybara that like destroys HQ. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and like blows half the company's budget on this fucking capybara. On this capybara, yeah, you buy lettuce from them. Buy buy five five million tons of of of, of lettuce. Simple as. The, we can the transport capybara. it in gondolas. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a Thomas and Friends special. Yeah. Carry it in open air cars. 
Uh. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, we we do have Alex. Alex is just sitting there. We we only bought him because, well, it's 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 Alex. He's real. I don't know where we would use them, but we have them. Uh. Hell yeah. Uh, I think I think this summer when I go to Greece, I will work on uh, during my off time sitting by the pool. I will work on the W and O revamp. So get that finalized, please. Please do. I will. We, I don't will. Don't worry. I will have. I will have so many treats in store for the meetup. Y'all have no idea. So many adventures. For I will make many an item, hopefully, and I will hopefully be in a little better shape than I am now, and hopefully. The pad, the the loft, as the loft, so the, the lobster loft. Yeah, the lobster, the the lobster cage. The lobster, you, you know the freaking like four resolution, four pixel resolution image that just says Lober. <laughs> it's like a low res yeah, picture it, of a lobster. Yeah, I you need to post that, that on the wall. You need to hang that up in a frame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I should. I could actually probably pay someone to get that embroidered. Hell yeah. <laughs> Lober Loft. <laughs> Got it done in like Comic Sans too. Comic Sans, yeah, exactly. The Lober Am I gonna Loft. hit the bumper? Uh, nope. Actually, nope. Yeah, I did hit the bumper. Okay, well, log train done, so. RIP to log train. Dead. Damn, log train dead. Log train damn that. Uh. Killer Log clean story. Pulpwood, I have a Pulpwood's for where you. it's at and shit. Yes, Ryan. What, does any of your DCC items have? Well, not, not any. Does any of your end scale items have DCC? Not that I know of. A lot of them are DCC ready, but I don't know if any of them are DCC. Charming. Ryan's gonna buy some end scale, though. So. Hopefully, maybe. I'm thinking about it. Why would you invest in end scale? Uh. Because uh, oh, your the club, right? Model yeah, the Upstate Model Railroad is a much nicer end scale layout. I know the um, the Y three is the two eight eight two GCC ready. Okay, charming. Okay, shit. I need to. I I still have the urine town plunger. It is still with us. Yeah, are we gonna burn it in a ceremony one of these days or something? That's how you no, free it, yourself, it, Ryan. You you simply true, divest that's of true. it. That's true. Wait a minute, that's so right. Wait a minute. That's Michael. You're so right. right. Yeah, we need to burn it in a ceremony. The mental anguish is over. It's, yeah, the 20th century is almost over. You need to burn it in a fucking fire. The 20th fire. century is almost over. <laughs> right. I just All need to burn. over the this thing world. Is, is that, the, the thing is, though, is that this is it's a signed plunger. So, like, I, I can't be public about it. Unfortunately, it has to be a private ceremony. Private burning, most, yeah. Yeah, for only the most esteemed 2026 Productions cultists. We we dance around the fire as we burn the plunger. Yeah. <laughs> what a chanting blount, blount reason with the ICC woman. Has Daniel been the leaking pain. air the entire time? Yes. Okay. He, you know, he's just dancing around. Blount, blount reason with the ICC woman. The horrors are over. The anguish is gone. Yeah, the exactly. Life can be seen. Okay, roster. Passenger train is now going. Um. God, okay, I have not been productive at all. I need to be more productive. I need to be more chill. Yes. Okay, wait a minute. I've Locations, got a I've got let's see. Um, I've, I've got a plan, a plot, a scheme, even. I need to hire more people at the East Whittier. Uh, what are you doing, Ryan? Uh, I'm preparing the law. Oh, I see. Cool. I need to hire more people at the East Whittier Engine Service, because... Oh, Steven. Oh, no, that's way, fine. How would you feel like going in a dip in the Chesapeake while you're here? Have I ever uh, swam? I'll bring a bathing suit in case. Yeah, do it. Come on. Come on, we'll get a brain-eating amoeba. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get... yeah, we'll get AIDS. <laughs> well, well uh... no, here's the thing. We have... We have watercraft. We have paddleboards and kayaks. So we Hell can yeah. play our favorite ocean liners. Yes, we can we can, we can we can role play as our favorite ocean liners. Yeah, we can 
role play tugs. I will role play tugs. Yeah, I'll bring my Falcon Nine model, and I can pretend to be like a like a a, a landing ship for the rockets. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah! Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just, you know who 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 is who has dibs on Big Mickey? Who is playing Big Mickey? Well, y'all know you're playing Hercules. Oh, so. that's yeah. Oh uh, yes, my what is it? Yes, my boy. My doll, what is it? I'm feeling a little low. I'm gonna go get some coal at the depot. Keep smiling, my dear. There we go. That wasn't too bad. No, it, it was wasn't. Pretty bad, but it wasn't too bad. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, he was reviewed about how I was saying. Oh, we can go into the detectives. We can roll, and we can roll role play as our favorite ships. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Come on. It'll be fun. How much Steven, damage should I cause to this boxcar? This boxcar is at 0% condition. <laughs> that is... Yeah, by the way, Steven, Michael had an oopsie. Yeah, I think you saw. I don't what? Oh, yeah, well, I had oh, an accident. Yeah, oh, yeah, what, what caused that? Um, the railroad elves. It was all the railroad elves. It was all the railroad elves. It wasn't the railroad elves. It was my incompetence. I think I... I have two theories. The first theory is that I didn't leave any of the brakes on, on Logan um, up at Alarca, so as a result, he just started slipping downhill, because I know there's a bit of a grade there. Uh, my other Black theory is that I was an watch. idiot and didn't realize that I had accidentally uh, started the train and caused it to run. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm not delivering these boxcars back to the interchange at 0% condition, so I'm just going to shove them in the Bryson uh, thing for now. Uh, the Bryson um, engine house, and I will just uh, pick them up tomorrow. So, Michael, I think that sounds like a charming idea. Yes, yes. I'm gonna get all the jobs done for today, and then I'm gonna switch to the Minecraft server. So, because I feel like playing that. Oh. Uh. Oh my god, we should totally roleplay tugs. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, LARP yeah. as tugs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> come on. Do not LARP as tugs during the meetup, please. Uh, oh, come on. We, Steven, you would be the greatest pen sense. And, and Michael can be so I, yeah. I This means Michael's we have to, I have to go back and re-watch tugs in order to actually... Uh... Oh, come on. Michael, you would be the greatest pen sense. Steven, wouldn't he be the greatest pen sense? Ryan, I think you're you're a parent. And I think I think that'd be the final straw, and your parents would ban us for life from your house. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. Like the thing is, my parents put up with me. Listen, like, if we disguise it me... as a series of references, no, we dis we we disguise it as a political commentary. The political commentary. It's our avant-garde French film. Yeah, exactly. It's a period you piece. Know, period piece. You, you see, you have to understand. You have to understand. Ten cents is actually a metaphor for, for Lyndon Baines ID. Johnson. It's all a metaphor for the Great Society in Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, it's all for guns and butter. Yeah. You have to understand. There's lore, and if the parents don't understand, then well, that's on them. Because you know what? We're gonna make <laughs> like, what the fucking hell? What the hell is he doing here? What the fuck is this? <laughs> The fuck is this piece of shit? I I really enjoy that thumbnail that I made with fucking Joe Pesci just looking at the Ankara presentation for what short lines, and comments. I found an I found an N scale ATSF caboose in my fucking bag that I took to college. He's a stowaway. Oh my gosh. A fiend. Is it just like a I shitty generic fiend. caboose, or is it is it an ATS a design that ATSF used? I think it's I think it's an ATSF design as well. Like I think it's like a Bachman design, but it's an ATSF prototype. Oh, send a picture. Send a oh, picture. Oh, it's a classic like Bachman star star set produce. Yes. Yeah, I think I think it's a Wabash actually. It's a Never Wabash mind. prototype. That's really strange. What the ones in, is this from the Chattanooga set you had or whatever? No, it, it's N scale, Stephen. Oh, N scale. N -scale. I think, yeah, no, an over that scale, it's, uh, it's the ATSF things. Yeah, those are, those are dialogue does. I think I have, like, two of them in that scale somewhere. Put them in your mouth. No, I've um, done that before. You yeah, before. don't you remember the famous image? The picture's somewhere. It's somewhere, yeah. It's been in Altoona Gang. It is? They're cold. Put them in your mouth. Put them in your mouth. Shrimply eat them. 
I'm doing that in the in the big lesson part. <laughs> the fucking yeah. the fucking um Donald Russell uh soy jack. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me see. Me drinking chocolate milk in my old house. Me uh, when the me when the me. Oh, there's a picture of me on the old, my old O scale layout, which was wonderful. Uh. So that's when I said, where Where's the, the charming? Me? Where's the me? Okay. It might be a night. Today might be. Tonight might be a night for a night walk. Maybe. Night walk? I don't know. Yeah, a night walk, you know? Alright. My stalker? Ryan's Ugh. Night Stalker? Ryan's Night Stalker? Who is Ryan Stalker? Oh, I forgot my, the... my Night Stalker is Grinder, but that's another story. Dating apps don't work. Exactly. Um, yo, but y'all never, y'all didn't hear that from me, okay? I never said that. Ryan Loebner, he's that, that, that absolute, absolute, uh, I don't know, what's an insult that I can pull out of my, the depths of my brain? That absolute, absolute. That absolute crin cringerzoid. I don't know, but. I can't believe I'm, I'm sweating like a pig. All right, no, I can't be this out of shape. I, no, I'm Ryan Logan. Go I'm on a, go on a, shape. go on a jog, go on a hike. I should. Okay, I have one month. I have one month to prove myself. Uh, we used Grand Central Station. Like that was that was NYC. Oh, Sue Line did. Interesting. Who huh. used? Oh, Chicago uh, Grand is, Central. I'm, I I I forgot what I have canon as the INCI's like Chicago Terminal. On, on the map, it's Dearborn, but I'm like, what else is there? Because I really like how how the Grand Central Station in Chicago looks. The one that that Bino used. But that station was built by the Northern Pacific when they controlled the Wisconsin Central. And then, literally, as soon as it opened, they lost control of the Wisconsin Central, and it was given to the Sioux Line, and and that's how the NP got cucked out of Chicago. Yeah. Well, interestingly enough, the um, Bill's original plan for getting into Chicago was buying the the pre-Pacific extension Milwaukee Road. That would have been cool. Yes. Yes. The Milwaukee Road and the Great Northern actually do fit together very well on a system map, all things considered. And then the CNO did for a brief time when they actually ran to Chicago on their own. And the okay, ice, yeah. the ice, D did really. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Steven did it at one point. The uh, why am I blanking on the name? But it was the the shitty narrow gauge railroad that the CNO eventually bought between uh, Cincinnati mm -hmm. and yeah. and Chicago, like the Cincinnati, Chicago, and Louisville or something. Yeah. Wasn't didn't the Wisconsin Central almost get control of that at some point? Yeah, because they uh, they wanted like her a curtail the market on shipping like like ore down to Birmingham, Alabama for smelting. So they wanted to control their own out down to Cincinnati. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, the uh, the uh, the IC did use I forget that's that's a cool station actually. Plus, I want the INCI to be close. We got the we got the B and O. So that 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 well, that, be that is based. I need, to, I need to figure out what station the the Washington Ohio is going to use. No, because in... I realized that uh, that the whole point of the, of the whole like INCI's inception, like the 1850s, is to build from like Springfield, Illinois, out to North Dakota, and and I'm like, well, excuse me, uh, uh, South Dakota, and I'm like, well, the Springfield I can meet with the B&O slash like 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 C H and D there, and the B&O would, would, would like upgrade the route out there. That's a pretty sound like transcon route that uh, bypasses Chicago and St. Louis. No, not bad like, at all, actually. What is it, Michael? If you're looking for a station to use in Chicago, may I suggest LaSalle? I was going. I was thinking LaSalle, actually. Um, because my my train of thought is that the West Virginia and Western uses LaSalle, and kind of in coordination with the New York Central and was the nickel plate. We have our own little switching company or terminal company that that works LaSalle. That would that would make sense. I need to. I've thought about uh, Washington, Ohio passenger terminals before. I do know that I want there be no passenger terminals in and around DC. Be an absolute fucking mess. So our main one is Union, but we also have smaller terminals, like a, a very small terminal in Georgetown, and then a small, uh, a slightly bigger one in Alexandria, and then we have a like a bus company or or an electric uh, interurban that 
will take you downtown from there. But we also use Union for, like, run-through trains or something like that. I want it to be a total mess. So... Good. Water. War never changes. True, true. Okay, doing decently well. Um... Let's see, what else, what else? I also realized because the Washington, Ohio really doesn't directly go through a lot of coal reserves, uh, I'm going to have to build a fairly sizable branch line network in West Virginia if I want to tap a lot of those coal reserves, so... That's something I sort of have to realize, but... CNO USRA Light 2662s? Question? Uh, absolutely. I do really like... I do need to flesh out the Gloucester Point coal port more. I need, like, a suitable name for that, because Yorktown is on the opposite side of the river, and Gl the the point on the river, on the York River, where it's on is Gloucester Point, but I don't really like that name. <laughs> you, need you, you need to figure out for for the name of, like, the, the, the railroad baron who extends the, like, W and O outs and, and makes it a class one. Lying lie, lie a point or a Port Arthur was named just some guys so like yeah, it's named after me and gave him a cool like last name. Just oh, I, like, I had a guy at some point uh, like very long ago. I had a name in mind. I just don't remember what it is. All right, time to lay on my independent, but almost down into Bryson. So we did buy uh, one of the 060s, a uh, little 060 switchers to switch out all the industries in and around Bryson now. Oh, why isn't... That is strange. Why isn't the West Bryson Industries mod showing up again? I had it installed last time. Um... Okay, that's... Uh, that's something I'm gonna have to look into. Because for whatever reason, the, the mod decided to just not exist anymore? Question mark? Uh, that is no good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at that oh, for next time we play. Oh, I about Station. Bur Burlington, Milwaukee, uh, P oh, PRR on the Alton. Well, I was Station. gonna say, Stephen, if worse comes to worse, use LaSalle. Come on, it's LaSalle Street Station. Well, because I, re I, re I remember how the Central Station was tore down, like, 68 or something, and it was, like, main it was mainly just the DNL. Which, like, it is a cool oh, okay, thing. never mind. Well, a sail on sailor, to quote one. Alex no, no, Johnson. no, because I, I'm looking for alternatives. But like, it might be in LaSalle. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, LaSalle, LaSalle, LaSalle is the is the funny option. Oh, the funny option is to build your own terminal, but that is the funniest option. Didn't the Chicago Northwestern have a separate terminal? Yeah, for they their just own? have their own fucking because all oh, it's VNW and we're so powerful. Just built their own station. I mean, Fuck I mean, you, honestly, Chicago Steven, and Northwestern Railway Company. You need you need like. If you build your own terminal, it needs to be shitty as fuck. Like, four tracks. A four-track terminal. Like, that's it. Like, they have to squeeze all of their trains onto said four tracks because they got, like, a really shitty land parcel. Absolutely. Fucking, if you make it small enough, if you draw this out, I will make it in trains at some point. Hell yeah. It needs to be, like, partially submerged in the ground. Oh, hell yeah. No, it's on a floodplain. They build uh they build a whole bunch of high rises um over it eventually. Exactly. Oh, so okay. Oh, that's a cool train shot though. Okay, arriving back in in Bryson. Ocean, unsettled ocean. Yeah, I got to I have some switching to do here, so... You know I can't afford our new Switch-a-tron! It's a switch -a -tron. Crazy fast! What a wonderful oh, mess. You... I, I, I did not expect you to remember that, but you did. <laughs> I, 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 I remember. <laughs> I, remember. I always I remember. remember. I always remember, fuck. Okay, lay off but the independent. I've seen WA right Dearborn. It's all right. What is it, Steven? You, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of in support now of like the shitty ICNI. Like, 
I see I like I don't know call it needs like some really the like, Black Hawk terminal or or, or, yeah. or whatever. I yes, see. that would be funny. Because no, I, no, I'm no. still like looking for because you know how every a Midwestern line is, uh, never known by saying was always known as the, uh, it's Rock Island, it's the, it's the Milwaukee, it's the fucking the nickel plate. I am I, I use Black Hawk as like a, a placeholder because you know Chief a uh, Chief Black Hawk and the whole like Iowa Association. I'm also con considering the broadleaf route because the, the broadleaf is a Sioux like it's a Sioux herb that like healed people back then. But I'm but I'm, I'm, I'm I mean I like those two but but I'm not really a huge fan of them. So I'm looking for alternatives, but it's hard to find. Um, especially how I can't just choose like the Iowa route of I mean, that was it's kind of basic name, and I can't choose Central uh, Illinois route either because you know there's already the Illinois Central. So it's like what's yeah. the um. Because if, if the whole original point of the ICNI was to connect Chicago up with the Dakotas, you might be able to find something there. Um, yeah, the whole, uh, uh, the whole idea behind it was to, like, build, because, like, I, 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 when I read the Evan St. Helbuck and all stuff, I learned that a lot of the farmers in Iowa, Missouri, were, were dissatisfied with Chicago in general, and, like, these, and how every, like, like railroad went to Chicago and you couldn't, like, and people were kind of like, what are they, what are the other farmers, because they're all going to the exact same market. And that's why they they pushed the M St. Tell to build out to uh, St. Louis. I'm like, what do we do that? But, but it goes like Central Illinois, uh, 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 connect like directly with all these big Eastern lines. That's the whole Steven, uh, actual I have, philosophy. I I have a suggestion. Yes. Uh, the breadbasket route. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Just a thought. I don't know. That sounds also kind of generic, to be honest. Sounds like a charity or or, or, or organization. I like the uh, I will use the breadbasket of like the world's worst like streamliner though. Yes, yes. Like, like complete just pocket streamliner, but pocket uh, all uh, coach. Like Iowaville to Iowaville. Um. Well, let me let me look. Uh. Hawkeye route, Fox. Yeah. Was there any rare that had that or? What's what, what the fuck's the Hawkeye anyway? Fuck! I know the Hawkeye was a name train like the IC or something, but it was really obscure. Hawkeye um, train. The fuck is the Hawkeye? Oh no, the the, uh, the Hawkeyes are the are the um are the Iowa College uh, are, they, are the Iowa State like like university a team or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Called. South Dakota state symbols. Other oh, bird is the ring necked pheasant. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's the ring neck route. The ring neck route? Sounds like you're gonna be strangled. <laughs> Ship with us or we'll fucking strangle you. This is a threat. Ship with this us or you'll, or you'll. Uh... Literally, we'll fucking strangle you. Uh, yeah, what threat. the Uh, I mean, you could always just go to the, um. Uh, what is it called? Black Hills Spruce State, State Tree of South Dakota. Does North yeah, Dakota yeah, have yeah, anything see, cool? Yeah, I had Train called the Hawkeye, which I think ran, um... That ran... Fuck, was that the line that... Oh, that, oh that's the one that went all, all the way up to fucking, like, like, Sioux City and then was, like, cut back to, like, Fort Dodge or whatever, yeah. Okay, so apparently uh, the yeah, state... I When I try to find name trains, I typically go and look up state symbols first. The state bird of North Dakota is the Meadowlark. The Meadowlark route sounds kind of cool, in my that's opinion. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Uh, this is, this is a, this is a complete, this, this is a complete left field, left fielder, but how about the Red Barn route? Sounds like the name of a short line. Like a, like a short line that produces prefabricated barns that you ship out in boxcars or something. <laughs> yeah, it's just, a, just a thought. <laughs> The, the American Goldfinch is, is the state Iowa bird. That is Fox. The American Goldfinch. The, the, yeah, because when I think of something like that, I think of like the Wellsville, Addison, and Gelton, you know, the sole leather line, because, you know, they had all those shoe manufacturers on, on there. That's not really That's something that a big class one would really adopt. I like I like the metal lark route. I I think that's cool. And that's a great name for for train. It is the metal lark. I used to think of the fucking uh what was the whippoorwill? The whippoorwill, yeah. What was the very cursed um uh like uh, Iowa, Chicago, and Eastern? No, different different railroad. Uh, the frickin' um 
Chicago and Eastern Illinois very weird combination, like a diner combine or something. Yeah, like a, it was like a baggage buffet lounge. Baggage buffet or lounge car, buffet. one of those things. Yeah. That's that's on your pocket streamliner. Yeah, exactly. Sure can. can we bring back having really weird pieces of equipment like that? Well, what is it? I do want to have the Automat Slumber Coach on the West Virginia Westerns, uh, what is it, New York to D.C. route. Hell yeah. Uh. Hop, 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 plunk. Okay. Um. Which are, now, now, I, now I'm tempted to start work on the West Virginia Western again. Shit, okay. I've got yeah, yeah, talking about fictionals. The uh, oh god, I've got... I have plans. Um, I do want to write up, though, a story about the last run of the fucking Appalachian Limited, because I think that would be quite funny to talk about how, like, the metaphorical train wreck that was. I did actually start writing a WNO, like, formal history at some point. Um, let me, let me look it up. It, it was relatively recent. History of the Washington, Ohio, work in progress. The, the Lakota route's kind of cool. The Lakota route, oh yeah, that's a neat one. Honestly, because... Steven, I think the Lakota route's a winner. That is really fucking cool. That is cool. And it's and, and it's right because yeah, the, the, they were they were a part of the Sioux tribe. Yeah, they were a subculture of of the Sioux people. And maybe the whole point is like, oh oh, it's it's just the main line it starts out why promotional bro bro sure as in eighteen eighties like oh it's the main route to the to the Lakota nation. It's like oh it's stuff. And it's like then people just call it oh it's the Lakota route and then it just sticks. I like that. Fuck, I like that. Oh that's cool. Yeah. Let's All see. Alright, look how it is. That fox. I uh, I still think you should use a metal uh, the name Metal Arc for one. No, of your no, main I trains. I do want to I do want the Metal Arc. Apparently the the Metal Arc was also a named RDC train of the CNEI. That was like the last service to uh, uh to go down all the way down to Southern Illinois. But I'm stealing that because that's a great name for a train. Uh, I need to do like I need to bring back. Oh, I want to do the Texas and Lake Erie too, for whatever reason. Now. Oh come on, Michael, do it. Given. Maybe maybe that's how the WNO gets saved. They just get bought by the Texas and Lake Erie, and we become the Washington, Ohio, and Western with the greatest reporting mark ever ever to exist. Wow, these these new Z trains truly are something. I don't know. Ooh, the Grand Lakota route. The Grand Lakota route, nice. Fuck. Ah, <sighs> do it, Stephen. Okay, those are okay. Yeah, because that would be rather interesting. Because I, I would imagine at some point the uh, the the Texas and Lake Erie would want to gain to to kind of survive on their own. They'd want to gain access to some That's of the big consumer markets in the Northeast. So, oh. uh, makes sense to me. Is there a little bit of echoing? Because I know a lot of there's a lot of chemical traffic that flows between the Northeast and. Um, between the Northeast and the and the the chemical coast, and there's also obviously Mexico is a big manufacturing region, and you could connect that with with Northeastern markets, which Northeastern markets obviously the main thing there is is not so much production nowadays, but consumption. So we need to have a really stupid, um, like Burlington Rock Island sort of thing, where we all change uh, who operates it on a on a on like a five-year basis or something and it's a complete disaster <laughs> yes definitely because uh, i was i was reading about the burlington rock island the other day and um so the way that worked is which was for those who don't know the burlington rock island was a joint line uh between fort worth and and galveston between the burlington and the rock island go figure and uh, well technically um the fort worth and denver but uh you know they were part of the Burlington, but the 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 way it worked is that the Rock Island would operate it for five years, and then they'd hand it over to the Fort Worth and Denver, and they'd operate it for five years. So every five years, whoever got to operate the rarity would change. And when the Rock Island began to go to shit, naturally, uh, this represented a problem because Burlington Northern was a functional railroad, and the Rock Island was not. So they were very sick of. This was even in the even in the 50s and 60s, um, or the Rock Island had really gone, you know, 
way down under. Um, you know, the Burlington, they'd get it, they'd fix it up, and then they'd hand it over to the Rock Island, and then when they get it again, it would be an absolute fucking shambles, and they were sick of this. So I was thinking, okay, it would be funny if we had something with our various fictional rares that would be like that. And actually, at some point, the the Burling, uh, Burlington Northern um, and the Rock Island ended up getting sick of this arrangement. And they actually considered uh, a, a a deal with Southern Pacific to use Southern Pacific's route between, I think, Waxahachie and, and, and Galveston as an alternative. And the Burlington Northern really liked the idea, but the Rock Island is like, nah, we should just keep using our own route. Uh, so... We need something wacky stupid and like that. Uncharacteristic. Yeah, it's wacky and uncharacteristic. So. Okay. Hey, wait, legitimately, hold on. I don't think I'll be accessing these until much later on in the. I do not think I'll be accessing any of this at all. What the fuck is the town across the river from Havana called? Is there any sort of a corporate area there? Ugh. Havana, Havana, Iowa. Havana, Illinois. That's um, that's a, uh, that's along the uh, the Illinois River. That's that's on the route from 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 Springfield to Muscatine, which is the oldest part. And I'm like, what's the town across the river from Havana called? There's an. All right, I'll, I'll make up a name for it then. Call it like, like, like the nearest town appears to be okay. Enoin. Is there like any named so, roads? There's the Spoon it's River. It's Railroad Landing. It's incorporated just for the Railroad Landing. I look up Illinois. Havana and there's the first thing that comes up is a restaurant just called Babes. To the Dakota Territory. It's uh, it's freaking um, it's Steamifornia. <laughs> That's what it is. Fuck it, uh, why not? Formed by... Farmers who wanted to ship their crop. Name of Fornia, simple as. Besides Chicago. Uh, let's see. Built in small fragmented divisions. Up my. That commonly hated each other. I've run out of water. That is not good. Wait, in Minecraft? Not in Minecraft, fuck. No, no, I meant in real life, not in... Not in... <laughs> the train exploded! Fuck. <laughs> We've had a boiler explosion, no. Oh my no, God. I meant I ran out of water, like, my, my cup of water that I sip from occasionally right here is now empty. <laughs> I have not run out of water in Railroader, although that makes me wonder how much water do I actually have. 1,700 gallons? Okay. Uh, I'll be fine. That's the kind of attitude. I'll be fine. I'll be chill. I'll be chill. Be more chill. Yeah, exactly. Uh. I still have the socks that I. I still have inaugural the socks. socks? That I, no, no, I got the so, so it, the first like for, for for freshman orientation, we had to play a game of like real world Monopoly where it was like. Oh, you know, factoring in redlining and inequality and all of that. And I volunteered to define redlining to my the entire class, and I won some socks because of it, and I found the socks. Huh. I don't know what to do with these socks. <laughs> Wear them? Okay. Question mark. Well, I. Hang I them mean... up on your wall. Put them over your fireplace. Do, do I want to celebrate place? inequality though? No, you're not celebrating inequality. To... You're you're celebrating being able to define a complex topic in front of a whole bunch of people. I I guess, but like, I don't know what I should do with these socks. They kind of creep me out. <laughs> what are they? Socks for what? What what is even on them? Are they just an like a blank white pair of socks? The socks with like all of the game characters on it. The game characters, like video yeah, yeah, game no, because, characters. No, no, because in the game Factuality, which is like again, it's Monopoly, but like factoring in inequality and bias and everything. 
and whatnot. Um, like if you had like six or seven characters you could choose to play from, and the socks have these characters on it. And oh, like, that's that's know, a bit weird. Uh, a bit weird, I think, is underselling it by a wide margin. I don't know what to do with these fucking things. Uh, like, ag again, do I really want to sell it? Like, donate yeah, them to uh, a charity that gives out clothing to people. Michael, I might actually do that because does I feel the like game celebrate fun. inequality, or does it does it just highlight the fact that this is a thing that exists? It, it highlights the thing that exists. Okay. <laughs> like, of course, there. Like, it's. Is it like a dude, board game? Yeah, yeah. It, like, think Monopoly. It, it's like Monopoly, but like you're not starting out. You know, each with the same amount of money. Like. You're disabled, you can only use one die, like it, you know, like all of that. Ah, uh, okay. Um, it, yeah, yeah, um, I, I mean, like, yeah, you know what, like, I find it weird that they would give us socks and not, you know, if they have the budget for socks, not donate those socks to people who actually need them. Or just give you a blank pair of socks that, that's really bizarre. Or just, not, in order, it just, I don't know, just like a pat on the back. Like, I think a pat in the back would be a little bit more appropriate than socks, but... If we say I, pat I enough, will he show up? Yeah, yeah. I don't mean to sound like a spoiled brat, and I don't mean to, but I'm just like, I'm kind of flabbergasted about these socks, and I don't know what to do with them. They're staring at me menacingly. Menacing socks. Inaugural socks. The, where is he? I could use Socks Clinton right now and his piercing commentary to tell me what I should do with the... Inequality Monopoly socks. Probably dead, if I were to guess. Damn it. Where is he? When <laughs> He's been he dead for a while, right? Good old yeah, son. I mean, it's Bill Clinton's cat when he was president. There's no way this creature is still alive. You'd be surprised. <laughs> to do. Uh, um, long you, long know, you know what? We're gonna... We're okay. Gonna keep, we're, we're gonna keep these socks. And, well, we're gonna donate them. But right now, we're going to hold on to them. Because you never know when you're going to need an emergency pair of socks. Clinton. All right. Forward. Road. Okay. Excellent. This train is on its way. Now I just need to switch back to 131. Select follow. I remember talking to my brother about this. And like he was like, yeah, that, that's pretty weird. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Sell the socks. Sell the socks. Sell the socks. There's no World one on this train. famous stocks. Yeah, Selling there's no one my on this inaugural train. socks. Yeah, no, literally, because it was like on my one of my first days of college. My inaugural socks. <laughs> Knock my socks off. Knock my, my socks, socks off. Yeah. I've been knocked off. But yeah, no, I have no idea what to do with these fucking socks, and they kind of scare me. Recently, so... I've been speaking of uh, uh, bullshit. Um. I've 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 recently been listening to So Ryan, you obviously did your Ted your Ted X, right? Yes. Uh, uh, some of them some of the ones that they post, I swear, are just galaxy brain sort of things. It's 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 really funny did, to watch. Did did you see the one with the guy who played Khan Academy basically trying to advocate like like oh we can you know like if we implement AI in every classroom, like, education will be so much better, and I... And no. He, and he kind of used, he kind of used some misleading data. No, I didn't see that one. These, these ones are more, um... There was one that, there's no way in hell that this wasn't a joke, but I still find it very, very funny. Where this person, um... How the fuck do I even describe it? Uh, let me just, let me just read off the title. Um, let me, let me see if I can find it. Uh. Tell me you've seen the TED Talks with Kermit the Frog, though, right? I have not. These ones are, like, ones that, they're not, like, official TED Talks. They're, they're ones that are put on by, by organizations that are not, like, directly affiliated with, like, like what you did. Um. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me, why am I fucking forgetting forgetting one uh 
it was some some galaxy brain sort of thing okay so this one was called uh an interspecies metaverse where trees own bank accounts and huh. it was this this woman who got up there and basically said uh we should give plants decision making capabilities by attaching a, a basically plants have decision making capabilities and as a result um you bring out these decision making capabilities by basically attaching a whole bunch of sensors to the plant and attaching that to like a Roomba or something and when the when the moisture gets below a certain level the plant can decide to go water itself or something now that makes no sense because it's not the plant deciding that's just a sensor saying okay once the moisture in this room gets below this level it will automatically drive the plant over to be watered and she basically extrapolated this into yeah we can make it so that plants can make their own decisions and can have bank accounts and can sell their produce and stuff like that and there was there was no way in hell that this wasn't a joke but it's just so ridiculous that i uh <laughs> that i can't help but laugh so come on mr michael needs to have one of these plants like mr. like he made like it's one of it's his, it's his significant other planty it's about to say it's the closest thing to a wi-fi gat Exactly. Damn it, Steven. Plenty, no pun on. intended. Uh Okay, I need to clear room in the in the freaking engine shop because we're gonna We're gonna we're gonna have to put in some some guys in there, so Thailand, my beloved. Uh Okay, JNPT90, I'm going to put you on... Where can I shove I hang, 90? I should hang up some... I should hang up some pictures. Yes, you should. I've got command strips here. Lighten things up, you know? Uh, I... Actually, One thing I am looking forward to and going off to college and having a, you know, having my own space is that occasionally my mom will come down into my room every couple of months and she'll take stuff off of my wall like okay we need to redecorate right she'll take stuff off the wall but she won't actually hang any stuff up so she'll take a whole bunch of stuff down and and it'll just sit it'll just sit for weeks and my room will be undecorated for that time until i either she decides that oh yeah i need to put stuff back up or i just put everything back up immediately so i have decorations in my room again I'm looking forward to not having to deal with that. So. Yeah, definitely. That definitely sounds painful. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shove 90 into this uh, this track for now because we need the space in the Whittier engine shops for passenger train. So. There we go. Add friends, I want to search. Thank you. Okay. Uh, JMPT. Oh, wait, no, I still have 90 selected. Uh, select 131. Here we go. How damaged are these cars? 92% condition, that's damaged. fine. They're all damaged, They're Jerry. all damaged! Well, Putnam County is at a grand 32% condition, so, uh... Out. Yeah. That's a boo-boo and a half. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Fuck, I really should bring the Minneapolis to St. Louis big old fat fucking book. You should, yeah. That's gonna be a hell of a read. Sorry, Lackawanna, but this is this is white boy summer. This is this is Granger summer. Granger summer, yeah. On, on my way to Greece, the last time I went to Greece, I just bought a whole bunch. I think I read the uh, the book on Hunter Harrison. Um, I read the book on Hunter oh, Harrison. I oh, read cool. the book, uh, like a book on North Carolina railroads, and a, the book on the Georgia and Florida, all during my Greece trip. So I think during my Greece trip, I'm finally gonna bring. Uh, the Norfolk Southern book. Um, what else? What else? I'm going to bring the Norfolk Southern book. I'm going to bring the book on combat pasture trains. And I'm going to bring, like, merging lines. And I'm just going to read those throughout the trip. So. 
because the flight's like seven hours, and I can't sleep on a plane to save my life, so... Uh, Let's go. Seven hours. Nice. Yeah, seven, eight hours. Long that, flight. That's a... I disagree. Of course but... you would disagree, Ryan. For me, it's a long yes. flight. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, yeah. what's your longest flight ever? Uh, 16 hours. Gosh. Fuck? From where to where? Uh, 16, okay. Uh, Hong Kong to Dulles. Um, Hong Kong to Dulles. Narita to Chicago, I think, was also up there. Uh, Dallas to Hong Kong as well. Um, that was about 15 hours, I think. So, yeah, they rack up a little bit of time. Oh, my lord. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Seven hours is... Seven hours is the perfect length for a flight. Right? I it's, hate being on a plane after one hour, so for me, that's like torture. So that's understandable. Steven has left, unfortunate. Steven but, Oshiesky, he's dead. I, I don't mean to sound pretentious or anything, and I apologize. No, no, for me, but, that's um, a long flight. For you, yeah. that's nothing, yeah. considering you've been oh, on multiple 16 hour flights. Oh, is he back? He's back. Mr. G. Yeah. I almost went crazy on those Denver flights, so. How long were those? Five hours. Five hours? I'm not. I, I like flying, but my favorite flight is the one to the BWI because you blink and you're there. Well, you're gonna be flying that flight like soon, literally a month. Yeah, no, I, I stop, I love stop, so stop. Quick. I don't want to damage the car more than I already have. Literally, okay. as soon as soon as the lights go off, and it's like you're free to walk the cab, and like ten minutes later, okay, we're gonna start our descent in the beautiful sunny Baltimore. It's like yay, yay. I've never been through BWI ever. I have it's, no it's idea. Really simple air. It's a really simple airport to, uh, to walk into, really complex to walk out of. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, that's fair. Hydrate, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm here, like, I am so excited to see you guys. Like, oh my. I've never so flown... Fun. I've never flown... I've flown out of Reagan the one time when I when, when, when BWI decided to cancel, like, 75 flights in one day for, 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 for literally no reason. Yeah. And it was a very easy yeah. airport to go into. I'm I'm starting to see what what, what Reagan's like coming out of because it can be Reagan nasty. coming in and coming out is actually fairly easy, all things considered. No, I I like Reagan. Reagan, Reagan is, is a cool airport. airport. I I'm never doing Dallas though. Dallas, Dallas scares me how big it is. Ah uh, yeah, big. Dallas is. Listen, Dallas for me to get out of is pretty easy because that's the airport I've flown out of for seventy five percent of my life. For someone who, you know, probably doesn't go through Dulles, I can see how it can get confusing and kind of a, be a massive fucking pain very quickly. Yeah, so that's why, that's why I'm excited to do Reagan. Not my my masters. only my only experience with BWI is I passed through BWI trying to get from Mark to the Baltimore Light Rail, <laughs> taking the the shuttle bus from the station there. That's my only experience going through that airport. Um, Also, I do find it rather funny that Baltimore in and of itself does not have enough, uh, like, demand to be, just have a dedicated airport, so they have to be like, oh yeah, we're also Washington as well, so. Well, I mean, to be fair, though, to be fair, though, the Baltimore, like, suburbs and the Washington suburbs, they're starting to merge, like. They've merged like that like, for a I, long time, yeah. I mean, the fact is, is that it's a little hard, I mean, you can definitely pinpoint, okay, you can't. I think you can pin you can't pinpoint where Baltimore ends and DC starts, but you can understand when you're in Baltimore suburbs and when you're in DC suburbs, if that makes any sense. Yeah, the the it's like once you get up once you get up past like like Route 32 or something, like into past Savage and into Elkridge, you're definitely I consider that the dividing line. Or maybe There's, actually I mean, Route 97. Old... Route 97. And, once you pass Guilford I mean, also, on 95, that's that's think, the split in my mind. And, and when you think about it, though, the idea that it's both a joint Baltimore-Washington International Airport is actually rather genius. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I mean, the thing is, is that the cities are... It's, it's kind of blessed that the cities are, are so close together, to, 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 you know, to together, because ultimately what you have is you have great opportunity for tourism for both, if you're just flying in there for vacation, that, that Baltimore is you know baltimore is about what 30 minutes away from bwi as well as dc is probably what like 45 dc um, is maybe like an hour and a half yeah i mean 
the the fact is is that BWI like I think the I think the fact that the that the greater Baltimore, Washington, Annapolis area, like the greater Nova, Nova, Maryland area has three airports that serve it is honestly rather incredible in its own right. Oh, yeah. Like, well, you have Reagan, you have Dulles. And I mean, when you, when you break down how these airports work, it, it's actually it's, it's fascinating because you have what is it? You have Reagan, which serves like Reagan is domestic. Big, Dulles is international. And. And BWI is a nice mix of the two. Yeah, BWI is kind of a strange mix of the two. Although there are international flights that fly out of Reagan, and there are regional flights that fly out of Dulles. Albeit the ones that fly out of Dulles, there aren't that many, but they do exist. Yeah. So there is but overlapping. It, I mean, I, there, there is definitely overlapping responsibility, but I think the general idea is that you know you have, you know, your larger flights are going to, like I? your longer international flights are going to Dulles, your medium range domestic slash like transatlantic flights would go into bwi and your domestic flights would go into reagan yeah it's it's like, I think, it's nicely split it's not a total yeah. mess and ultimately the fact is is that like again reagan like not reagan bwi not bwi fuck dulles is like at most two hours from annapolis which is not a bad drive right like it is not awful not to mention the fact that it's now connected the metro and although it takes a while it's on the metro still but like it's yeah. still on the metro but still at. our like, our airport I mean, connections with the exception of bwo with reagan which is very well connected because it's literally right there the transit connection to the airports could be better but they are there um even even you know the fact that you know metro obviously doesn't go all the way up to bwi it'd be kind of ridiculous if it did but you still have in terms of transit, you still have, if you want to get into DC from BWI via transit, you do have the Mark Penn line, which runs uh, all day, both service, both ways, you know, all that. So there is that that exists. Totally. Yeah. And yeah. obviously, you still have the Baltimore Light Rail, which is served by that. Even if the Baltimore Light Rail sucks, it's still there. And you also have. On the on the Reagan end, you have all the bus companies. Uh, you have Metro, obviously. You have, um, and then on the on the Dulles end, you also have the Metro. Even if it takes a while, it's still there. So, which although they are doing a speed up on the system, uh, come I think believe July first, so trains will be faster. So, it won't take as long to get out there as it currently does. Ah, uh, transit and airports and whatnot and what have you. Hell yeah. I know there's this general sort of belief among a lot of transit people that, uh, oh, trains are in competition with airlines. Which, I that's true to a degree in certain lanes, but I, I really do think aircraft, uh, air travel and train travel and transit in general can really complement each other if done correctly. Right. You know, if, if people who fly in aren't necessarily going to have a car and thus are, are prime options for, you know, transit and whatnot, so. Which is but why what, what, like Bright, what Brightline is doing with partnering with airlines going through Orlando Airport is actually rather, that's actually rather smart, so. I was going to say this is a very intriguing competition, but I actually have to head off my mom's calling, so I'll talk to y'all later, all right? All right, bye, Ryan. Great stream. You like run. Just you and me, Steven. Yeah, I'm supposed to pack in here, then I gotta shower and go see bitter and then I'll get Bowie tomorrow. Uh, Alright. I may. Miami. Um, Miami. Miami. Where Almost ten o'clock. Okay, after I get all this done I might just end the stream there. I said I was oh, I was gonna go on the Minecraft server, but I have work tomorrow and I really don't feel like it, so <laughs> every time you wanna do the Minecraft server something comes up. Yeah, I swear. It's cursed. Yeah. Although, I'm almost done with my first stretch of railroad, so... Really? Yeah. Come on, Logan, you can do it. You can do it. I just gotta set these cars into the interchange, put Logan into the shop, and then we're good for today. So... Uh, let me go ahead and close. Teleport my guy over. Oh, hello. Hello, train. Hello, train. Hello, train. 
When are we getting Piedmont and Northern Heritage Unit? True, actually, fun. Uh. Because are all they doing a Gainesville Midland one? Because they have a Gainesville Midland like Heritage sticker. They do, yeah. Um, which ones have they done so far? I've I've already lost track. Uh, Monon, CNO, BNO was the first one. Seaport System, ACL, SCL, which is apparently just came out. See, um. Uh, NYC, which is the worst one. The 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 NYC one's gross. Um. Uh, Perry Marquette and the Streamlines game, which is which is really cool actually. A very obscure pop choice. I'm glad they did it actually. It's cool. And like two more that I'm probably forgetting. Yeah, they've done. Okay, so according to this, they've done. BNO, RFMP, LNN, WM, R NYC, R CNO, ACL. They did a Pittsburgh and Lake Erie one. That was a voice crack. Uh... I don't see... Apparently they're gonna do a PNLE one, according to this. That'd be very cool. Um, Mona, Seaboard, Coastline, Family Lines, Chester System, Conrail, Seaboard. Um... Yeah, Western Maryland. I like how they're... Yeah, because, let's see, what's missing from this? They, yeah, they did the Conrail one. They need to do Penn Central. They don't have a Pennsylvania one yet. Um, they don't have a New Haven one yet either. Um, what do we got? We got ACL. They're not going to do it, but it'd be cool if they did uh, Charleston, Western Carolina, and uh, Atlanta, that Birmingham, and Coast. Cool. Seaboard. They do not have a Seaboard Airline one yet, but... I, it's only a matter of time, I think, before they do that one. Um, so I'm sure they're doing it in the Citrus scheme, too, because they, they did the ACL purple. Yeah. So they do have a Louisville Nashville one. Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis would be cool to see. They well, did a Monon one. Chicago, Chicago, and Eastern Illinois. They can do one of those. Um, What else? What else? Georgia Railroad, Western Railroad of Alabama, Atlanta, and West Point. That'd be neat to see. Some of the other Conrail constituent roads, um, like, I know they have some, like, Lackawanna. I know CSX owns some Lackawanna trackage still. Well, DLW won't be awesome. Yeah, so Lackawanna, they obviously would do Pennsylvania. Um, Redding, they do Redding, Redding Central Railroad to New Jersey. They can do those. Um, I mean, if they want to do all the Conrail ones, that would be kind of neat. Because, I mean, technically, because Conrail shared assets. Didn't they already do a Conrail one? They already did a Conrail one. But I'm just talking about, like, the Conrail constituent roads. Oh, because... Like, they, like they, uh, CSX directly one. doesn't own any part of the Erie. But Conrail shared assets. So... Does, so... I'm trying to think of any others. Um, yeah. Hold up. CSX predecessor railroads map. Well, obviously they can do Pan Am ones now. They can do Boston to Maine, Maine Central, Springfield Terminal, slash Guilford, and Pan Am. They can do those. Guilford would be awesome. Yeah, because they had a Pan. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, Boston and Maine on the Maine Central Heritage Unit for CSX. Yeah. That would be awesome. Monongahela Heritage Unit. Mark, there's so much stuff you can do. So, it's they like can do a, they can do a remember. Rock Island one because of the, the Little Rock sub out to, between Blue Island and Utica. Yeah. Dur Durham and Southern, Piedmont and Northern, Gainesville, Midland. Uh, they could also do... Columbia, Newberry, um, and Lawrence. That's one that they could do. Yes, because that's still a very busy line. Yeah. Again, you yeah. you you have like three units in ACL purple. It would be so confusing. It would be so yes. funny, yeah. Um, no, because I I do remember fi finding like EMD art of like proposed like CNNL scheme. It's really funny. It's like blue with like weird accents. Oh, you need to send that me this. Crazy. I know. I it's, it's somewhere in my laptop files. I'll find it if I can. 
like 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 when I got back. Yeah, that's Someone fine. Else. Dude, a CD, a CDI would be awesome though. Would they do the 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 black to look like the pinstripe scheme, or the blue with the yellow? Um. Because I love that, what, that black scheme as well as one of my favorites. I love that scheme so much. Ah, uh, I let's see. I forgot what these look like. So. The CDI is always the rare that like comes off as like a huge like trunk line. And, oh, I thought you meant the Columbia Newberry and Lawrence. Oh, but no, yeah, the I Chicago. Know. I don't want the CDI. Yeah. The Chicago and Eastern Illinois. Well, the thing is, if they did the Chicago, I, I mean, I like them both, but for a heritage unit, I think that just because they would do the uh, the black and the uh, black and the white, simply because the the blue and the orange. If you put that on a heritage unit, there really wouldn't be much that you could do with it. Plus, if they made... Oh, if they do Central Area New Jersey, they have to do Red Baron. So. Yeah, that would be neat. Alright. I'm going to start showering it off. Alright, well, Michael. thank you for joining in, Steven. So. Of course. No, I love it. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun. So, yeah. So, so here's a list, right? um of what they could do and they've they've already done uh, a decent number of these oh fuck i forgot that i put you right there why are you right there because i put you there fuck okay so csx predecessors right so baltimore ohio which they've done chesapeake and ohio which they've done delaware lackawanna and western new york central which they've done pennsylvania which they're almost certainly going to do uh they can do pier marquette which they've done Rock Island, which they haven't done, but they can do it. Chicago and Eastern Illinois, which they haven't done. Monon, which they've done. Western Maryland, which they've done. New Haven, which they can do. Uh, Reading, haven't done. Pittsburgh Lake Erie, rumored. RFMP, Richmond, Fredericksburg, Potomac, they've done that. Oh, fuck, I forgot. No. Louisville, Nashville, which they've done. Clinchfield, which they haven't done. Atlanta, Birmingham, and Coast, haven't done. Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis, haven't done. Charleston, Western Carolina, haven't done. Atlantic Coastline, they've done. Seaboard Airline, almost certainly coming. Georgia Area, Atlanta, West Point, Western Railway of Alabama. Those would be cool. They can do Atlanta, Birmingham, and... Oh, yeah, well... Yeah, Atlanta, Birmingham, and Coast. I already said that. You can do Durham and Southern. Virginia, Carolina, and Southern. Columbia, Newberry, and Lawrence. Monongahela. Piedmont, Northern. Gainesville, Midland. Boston, and Maine. Maine Central. Springfield Terminal. Guilford, Pan Am. Also, Conrail, which they've done. Seaboard Coastline, which they've done. Um, well, they can do Penn Central. Uh, Conrail, which they've done. They can do Seaboard Coastline. They can do Family Lines. They can do Seaboard System with it down. They've done Chessie System. Um, trying to think of any others. Not off the top of my head. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Michael be sad he for gore. Oh yeah, sorry, I was too busy looking at a CSX map to pay attention to the fact that I clipped through myself. Um So sorry about that. But uh Yeah, we're almost done here, luckily. So nice two hour solo railroader stream. Well, I had some of my friends on, even though they didn't play with me, so. Stream was a bit chill, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. And then there's... Uh, let me... Union Pacific. I know... Okay. If we're on the subject of heritage units... Uh, Union Pacific was the first one to do heritage units. That being said, the Union Pacific heritage units, in my opinion, are way too fucking gaudy. I, I actually really like how... You know whose heritage units I like? I like Canadian Pacific, or Canadian Nationals' uh, heritage units. Because Canadian National... Um, even though they could do way more heritage units than the ones that they've done. The way they did theirs is they put their... They did the heritage units in the scheme of the railroads... Um, when they were... So, they... they ah, what am I trying to say? Canadian National's heritage units are in the ski, uh, the predecessor schemes of the railroads when they were acquired by Canadian National. And I just think that's really cool. And, um... Uh, 
but I don't, I don't Union Pacific's heritage units are just too gaudy. Also, they could do way more heritage units because they only have what they have Missouri Pacific, uh, Katy, Chicago Northwestern, Southern Pacific, and well, yeah, and Chicago Northwestern. Yeah, that's the one I was forgetting. But they have they have so many predecessor roads. They could do way more heritage units. Like um obviously, well, yeah, original Union Pacific, like a, an original Union Pacific pre-1970 scheme that they could do. They could do Southern Pacific and say Bloody Nose, Western Pacific and Perlman Green. You could do Spokane International. Uh so here here's just a list of Union Pacific predecessor roads, which is Union Pacific, Southern Pacific, Western Pacific, Spokane International. Rio Grande, Missouri Pacific, Rock Island, Missouri Kansas, Texas, Texas and Pacific, Gulf Mobile and Ohio, Cotton Belt, Chicago and Eastern Illinois, New York Central, Minneapolis, St. Louis, Chicago Great Western, and they could also do a Milwaukee Road one, for what it's worth. They could also do Missouri, Illinois. Technically, they could do New York Central because the uh, they own the former New York Central between St. Louis and Panna, Illinois. Um, they could do that, too. So... They do all those ones, and they just, they just, they just don't do it. It's kind of, kind of, kind of cringe, so. But oh well. It is what it is, so. All right, well, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's get this over with. Um, I'll just shove these interchange cars back and then I will deposit this in the shed and then we should be good. Is there anybody else playing Railroader? Uh, I will check that in in just a moment. So. Oh, but yeah, this has been a rather chill stream. As I said, next Saturday, I'm going to have to reschedule that stream because apparently I am having a barbecue with some real life friends and I wasn't made aware of this. Uh, so, but uh, I'd rather hang out with them anyways and than stream, to be honest. But um, yeah, real life is still very much, much a thing one must worry about and one must experience and, and enjoy. Plonk. I would not set the handbrakes on the. Well, okay, I didn't set the handbrakes on these because, uh. I'm gonna be honest. I'm the one who didn't do that. Okay. Uh. Also, apparently, Starliner. Starliner crew flight test has been delayed until June 1st. Um. Because, well, first there was an issue with the Atlas V with one of the valves, and now there was an issue with a, I believe, a helium, a helium valve on Starliner itself. So, at least I think. I haven't been paying too much attention, but, um, yeah, another Starliner delay. Uh, kind of, kind of sucky. Um, but, uh, but oh well. Let me just exit the voice chat at this point because uh, no one else is in it and okay time to put logan away uh he's at 48 percent condition which is terrible but my own damn fault so uh and i'm looking forward I'm looking forward to my trip, my family trip to Greece, because we we do, because my family, well, my dad is Greek, is Greek citizenship and all. Um, you know, speaks a language, grew up with it, uh, and we we go there. There's just one other person doing rare order. Okay, I'll I'll check them out in a moment. Uh, but we go to Greece every few years, and last time I went to Greece was what two years ago. It was really fun because you just sit and you relax and you eat good and you're with friends and you're with family. Um, and you just don't have to worry. Don't have to worry about nothing. So, and I am, I am really looking forward to that. So, Logan not looking too hot. Uh, so we're going to put him away in the shed. Uh, enjoy it, man. Yes, I will. I do want, as I said, I do want to touch up on some reading I've been meaning to do. 
And then maybe I might make a KSP video while I'm there. A nice KSP little cinematic. Uh, you know, because I can sit outside by the pool and whatnot. Just, you know, playing KSP or something like that. So. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll meet, like, a nice, like, a cute Greek girl or something while I'm there. But, uh, maybe that's just Hopium, but I'll try. Gonna make the moves. Be the man. Be the gentleman. I don't fucking know. Uh. Okay, Logan is away in his shed. I am going to go ahead and check who else is playing Railroader. Next week and the rest of this week will be a bit fucked. Oh, that's no good. Um, well, this week and the next week will, for me, will be busy too. But hopefully, hopefully, one hour until a Starlink launch. Uh, that Starlink launch is in 6-62. That's in 23 minutes. Uh, what booster is this? Um, Slick 40, 1080, Flight 8. This flew Euclid and a uh, crew mission. Two crew missions, actually. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here. I need to see who I can raid. Um, rail, let's see. Who else? Is anyone... Railroader... Uh, well, I, I see the other person, and it says, uh, may contain sexual themes, so I guess the person has a, a little filter on that. In that case, I don't know if I would raid them. Yeah, um, you know what? Rocket Guy has been busy, Let, let's end a stream. Rocket Guy has been busy, um, he built a Delta Clipper, a DCX in Kerbal Space Program, and he's busy auto automating it. Raid Nugget, I raided Nugget yesterday, so, the other day, so. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna raid Rocket Guy, because, uh, I don't know why. I'm in the, I'm in the KSP mood, so. Um, is he building a Delta Clipper? No, I think he's, he's flying a plane, so. <laughs> We'll, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll we'll raid Rocket Guy. But thank you all for watching. And uh, as I see, I'm fashionably late here. Yeah, we're Alpine 105. You kind of ended at the very end of the stream. But uh, well, thank you for joining in, regardless. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye.